Might be a record on this one, guys. Here's the kits I used. I used the galvanic furnace, and I also used some Sector Imperialis from old days. Welcome to... D here. Thanks a lot, you guys, for being patient with me as I push myself to the limits here. This is three tiles done in just a little over two weeks, start to finish. Um, wanted to really push myself with this. I am really excited about the preview. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get this released by the time it actually is released. Uh, the pre-order is uh, available. Yeah, just wanted to rush here. Um, got a little bit of, well, you know, I pulled the drill out on this one. Um, and uh, as it was really funny because I was doing these pieces, um, you know, first, obviously, so I could glue them down to the tile. But I really wanted to add something extra to this. Um, uh, you know, obviously, using the drill on the video is probably extra enough, Dale, right? Um, well, you know, as I was doing this, I was just did a little quick of a bits rush and you know I happen to actually have that uh, the one sprue <laughs> sitting there um, with the uh, loot crates and things on it and I saw the tentacle and I was like oh my god this is completely awesome so of course I started with one and uh, that wasn't enough so I was like you know three would come out um, a lot of people don't know this one of my first 40k armies I ever did was the Tyranids. Um, this was a long time ago. Black Book 3rd Edition Tyranids. Um, yeah, we didn't even have a codex at that point. Um, and as you probably th uh, are realizing, um, you know, I was, I was going nuts with this stuff back then too. I have a lot of very old Tyranids uh, that I add to the sumps, you know, things like that. I'm really excited to get back into Gene Steelers and things like that. Um, the whole concept of this Secundus thing I'm just so excited about. It's gonna be a gigantic bug hunt and looking for treasure. Um, the more and more I'm, you know, getting into this, um, the more I'm excited I am to just the way Necrobunda is starting to roll. Um, I know there's been a few people blah blahing about it. Um, you know, I, I'm not even sure those guys played Necromunda, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> if they did, they'd realize how exciting this is and how much we've all been waiting for this. Um, my, yeah, I know, pair of pliers on a door again. It's going to be kind of a theme with these pieces, I think. Um, I don't know how many of these I'm going to do. I know I want to do at least a board's worth, uh, which is seven. This is number three. Um, it means I have at least four left on the initial idea. It never sticks with that with me. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. And you know, as long as I'm having a good time doing it, I'll keep doing it. There's a lot of stuff I want to get back to though. Um, I have that whole enforcer's uh, other side of the wall and a gate to build. Um, when the I actually get a box of the new Zone Mortalis, uh, you know, the melted stuff, um, we're going to be doing that and using that on tiles. Um, I'm going to try to get some, you know, a lot of them. I have no idea how that's going to go at this point. 
The next tile hopefully will have some of that on it. Um, I might be able to do an unboxing video in between. Um, but yeah, with this one, I also wanted to do this ridiculous staircase. If any of you, I added, I uh, left a little bit of uh, me messing up footage on this a little bit. Um, if you've ever done these stairs, you know, you're looking at the pictures and everything, and boy, it looks really, really straightforward. Should be easy. Um, yeah, you'll notice what I just did right there. I put that thing way too far out. Um, didn't realize it till after I got the baking soda and everything on, so I had to break it off and uh, reset because uh, that's hanging out over the tile. And when you are doing zone more tiles, if you've never done them before, you want to try to keep as much stuff from overhanging the tile. Um, that keeps when you're building the board, uh, that keeps it uh, so you, you could just fling the tile or spin the tiles around and do whatever, you know, whichever new version of it that you want. Um, I, with all the tiles I have, I don't think I've come up with the same setup twice, to be perfectly honest. It's really cool. As much money as they charge for these things, it is worth it once you get into it. Um, at least if you're playing a lot. Um, so anyways, uh, I am going to let you guys go. We're going to finish up with this build. Oh, yeah. Here's all this sector imperial stuff. Um, I wanted to try to keep this a bit contained simply so that there'd be movement on the tile. Again, this is, you know, my choice. I could have made it more rough and sticking out all over the place and then no models would have been able to sit on it. Um, yeah, I am planning on playing on this just like I play on all the rest of the terrain that I build um, and paint. Uh, here we are with a sand texture. Yeah, this is just PVA glue, sand, and a little water just brushed on. And then, you know, I threw her in front of the fan to extra quick dry it up. Um, the painting stage, I'm not really going to do too much walking through with you on this one. Uh, just to say, uh, when we get to the powder work, I will be back.
Okay, the powder work. Um, yeah, uh, a couple of uh, comments about the rustiness of the first two tiles. Um, and I'm sticking with what I said in the last video. Um, I was playing with it. I thought those two particular tiles uh, needed it. Uh, this is a scene because I'm building a whole board, not just the one tile. Um, and I wanted some spots of the board to have a little bit more rust than others. Um, I went out and I picked up some light gray uh, ash. Um, one of our comments that we got on the last one was that we'd like to see a little bit more ash because obviously this is in the ash waste. Most of this right here is, you know, been bombed out cratering. So some of the ash waste would be coming in. Um, shadowing here um i did some extensive shadow work on this one uh mainly because under the overhang um and this is a little trick for everybody if they want to <laughs> really get their shadowing going you thin it ultra thin um i have to do a several passes to get it looking but you want it a little bit darker underneath the platforms um so here's the end um yeah this is pretty crazy uh <laughs> this is the fastest tile i've ever built and painted uh, there's no doubt about it um, but anyways thank you guys so much for stopping by i hope you enjoyed this and as always please like and subscribe